felt sorry for guys packed into gyms, trying to look like how Calvin Klein or Tommy Hilfiger said they should. Is that what a man looks like? <laughs> uh, Self-improvement is masturbation. No Self-destruction. So we're gonna discuss why men are weaker than ever. Because I've done bigger things with my life, like becoming a world champion. Becoming a multi-millionaire casino owner. Mental toughness is like a freaking superpower in today's world of weak-minded men. What does it mean to be a man who has arrived at its full potential? What does it mean to be a 1% man? What every man needs to do is like create that hyper-masculine character mentality. This is one of the best-selling self-help books ever written. First published in 19th, there is actually a hidden secret to productivity and fulfillment. So. Grab it's a concept that I adopted from Stoic turning your dreams into reality. And the sole purpose of your life is to improve. Yeah, it's about my healthy product habits that I How much time to get girls gym muscle. So this is where the whole fucking story for the self-improvement cult begins. It all started with you. You being stuck in the deep end, finding yourself sinking in the loophole, a dark phase where nothing matters to you anymore. Let's call this phase nihilism. So you go around the internet finding people just like you and you somehow find them. You finally feel like you have found your people who share the same mindset as yourself. Being in a nihilistic mindset as a young man means you have already reached the deep end without even starting. We're still men. Yes, we're men. Man is what we are. Nothing matters to you anymore. Not even your own existence. You just wanted to end it as soon as possible. I no longer have any fear of death. But as a person who is still young, you just want to experience one thing before you end it all. The closure of a person, or let's call it the touch of a woman. I am in a pretty lonely place. No one will have sex with me. So, in order to satisfy your sexual needs, you go around and follow these e-girls and IG models because you know that you don't have the energy to even approach a woman in real life with this nihilistic mindset. While watching these e-girls on social media, you come across an edit like this. That's how you get introduced to Z's. This is where the hope and nihilism comes from. You get introduced to a whole new entity and genre of content. Now you just wanna be like him. But here's the catch. Z's is long gone and he never made videos on how to get to his level or to even get on a level where you don't feel nihilistic anymore. So you search for this. Now this is where you meet the cult leader, Hamza. Being perfect. I say look, let's evolve. Now for you being so low in the masculinity index, you finally see a person who is making videos on how to reach his level. Now you have a way to reach your goal, that is to make an aesthetic body and get girls. So you join the cult. Would, would that be a problem? Is it a problem for you to ask? Can I stay at your place? Yeah. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. Now you finally have a sense of brotherhood and belongingness in a world where you thought you didn't even belong. You start watching Hamza's videos on the daily to improve yourself and for a change, you're actually doing something in your life to make you a better version of yourself and finally working towards becoming a man. But this is not where it ends. This was just the first step on improving yourself. Now you wanna get girls. After all, this was the main driving force for you to get into all this. So you look up for more videos on getting girls and dating advice. Now this is where the journey begins from upwards to downwards, deep into the rabbit hole of masculinity videos. Now you find yourself into the deep rabbit hole of this masculinity genre of content. This is where you discover, watch and listen these people talk about what a man should look like, walk like, talk like or even think like. But you are just a teenager or a person in their early 20s. Your mind is pretty much an empty canvas where anyone can draw their views but it's hard for you to differentiate between what's right and what's wrong. Now you have already started to think like a toxic person. You start to get repulsed by any guy who even slightly shows a sign of feminine energy or doesn't even have a slight muscle to show off. You think every girl who posts picture in a short outfit is just straight up a slut. And even a girl who goes out to party for like once in every 2-3 months is a low 
quality woman. Fucking ugly bitch. Here's the thing. We all are in our youth. We are supposed to enjoy and try new things, make mistakes or even go out to party as well. Getting too much obsessed with this self-help culture has stopped us from finding the balance between having fun and doing the right thing. I'm damn fucking sure that majority of these masculinity podcast dudes you listen to or watch go out to the clubs to pick up the exact type of women for the night that they thrash on their podcast just so that they can feel good about themselves. These are men in their either late 20s or early 30s who are talking about women their own age. Definitely not women in their teens or early 20s I assume. And again, no offense to these people to be honest. I mean most of them actually speak a lot of sense majority of the time. But sometimes get too extreme with their point of views. Most men are desperately lonely. Desperately. Mm -hmm. So you want to sit here and talk about the struggles of life as a woman. There are men out here that the male suicide rate is so many times higher than women for a reason. Of course. The life as an average man is brutally on it's brutally depressing. Men and women are not the same. Women like attention, men want sex. So my thing is a man is capable of having sex with other women while still loving his girl the same. You're actually saying that in a relationship it's okay for men to go and explore other options, but we have to be happy with you and not explore options. Absolutely. Cool it with the anti-Semitic remarks. But you are just a teen. You can't differentiate between a logical advice or an illogical one. So this is where the brainwashing begins. Now you are way too deep into this genre and the cult that was supposed to be a positive driving force for men to get better but now has started to get either toxic or maybe you have started discovering the untold truth. I've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars. But we won't. We're slowly learning that fact. We're very, very pissed off. I can get married. I'm a 30 year old boy. We're a generation of men raised by women. I'm wondering if another woman is really the answer we need. Shut up! Our fathers were our models for God. If our fathers bailed, what does that tell you about God? Listen to me. You have to consider the possibility that God does not like you. He never wanted you. In all probability, he hates you. This is not the worst thing that can happen. It is. We don't need him. We don't agree. I got Fuck damnation, man. Fuck redemption. We are God's unwanted children. So be it. But you don't know how to handle the truth as a young man. So you channel that energy as a form of hatred towards the world. You and your self-help cult peers have the same thinking process now with no original thoughts of their own. You all strive for one thing only, to become the textbook definition of a man. You have made it your whole identity and purpose. It's like the business card scene from the American Psycho where everyone is the vice president of the company, everybody dresses the same. All they think about is the alpha lifestyle and women. So how's Cecilia? She's a great girl. Very lucky. Mm -hmm. And get repulsed by anyone who doesn't follow their norms. Compliment was sufficient. Even though you have developed the perfect morning routine for yourself, you still feel somewhat empty because there's no bigger purpose inside of you at all. But you need to channel that inner hatred towards the world because everyone is not thinking like you. Well, they all should. You want every person to get into your textbook definition of being a man. So this is where the chaos begins. <laughs> Now you act like a misogynist because the people you watch in that rabbit hole told you that a man should act and think like a certain way and a woman should think and act like a certain way. Anything apart from that is not acceptable in a society that you are trying to build. So instead of ignoring the people who has different opinions than yours, you start to shit talk them. You think everyone should share the same opinion just because you are in a cult and they are not. What started with the motive for getting women for you now have become a movement of hating on them. Instead of ignoring the women you don't want to associate with or want to give attention, you go out of your way to thrash on them. It's like the same what happened with feminism. Women started this movement to fight for their rights and equal treatment in the society. But later it turned into a movement of thrashing and hating on men. Because now, whenever I hear a woman say she's a feminist, I automatically think she hates men. Think about it. Your mom is a feminist too. She probably works a job and if you have a sister, she supports her career too. Does she go 
around the internet saying she is a feminist fuck no her actions speak for herself so why are you going around the internet telling women how they should behave and what a perfect man should look like just show them with your actions because let me tell you from a personal experience women like you when you are an asshole but they get repulsed by you if you are a verbally outspoken misogynist if you do your job as a man she will definitely do her job as a woman you don't have to fucking say it okay back to the essay Now you have slowly started to realize that what started for you as a positive outlook towards life has slowly started to become negative. You notice that all the people in the cult like you think the same now. There's not a single original thought left in your mind where you can actually make a rational decision. So you blame your cult leader Hamza. When I started Fight Club together, you remember that? It's as much mine as it is yours, you know. But here's another catch. Hamza isn't responsible for the way you perceive things or the fact that you went down the rabbit hole. This does not belong to us. We are not special. Fuck that. You you should have told me. What do you want? Statement of purpose? Should I email you? Should I put this on your action item list? Oh, look. You decide your own level of involvement. His whole movement was different from how you made it and in the end of the day, he was building a business where you were the customer who needed assistance. And he did his part as a service provider with his videos. He is kind of not responsible that you lost all your original thoughts in the process or didn't even bother to discover your real purpose. If you would have died right now. How would you feel about your life? I don't know. I wouldn't feel anything good about my life. Is that what you want to hear me say? Fine. Come on. Not You are the only one facing the consequences of your actions now. God damn it! God damn it! Fuck you! Fuck Fight Club! Fuck Marla! I am sick of all your shit. So where does it bring you? Three minutes. This is it. The beginning. Ground zero. I think this is about where we came in. Would you like to say a few words to mark the occasion? <laughs> You made this whole self improvement as your whole personality that you didn't even care to find your own potential and purpose. Maybe you wanted to become a singer, but that's not what a man should do. Singing is such a feminine trait. Men were supposed to fight wars, but you never realized that no man died a fulfilled life in a war zone. They were only forced to fight for the agenda of bigger greedy men. Maybe you wanted to be a painter, but no, men are not supposed to paint. Men's hands are meant to do hard jobs like mining or construction. Or maybe you wanted to be a chef, but again, you were told by these alpha men that cooking is what women are supposed to do while you go around and fuck other bitches ay 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 you get my point so you sit there without any purpose again which brings you back to nihilism